If your Roku TV is stuck in recovery mode, then there's a few possible ways to fix it. Most involve resetting it or updating your TV. So you typically get your Roku TV stuck in recovery mode after a power cut or if the TV has detected some issue with the software such that it cannot be loaded. So this is usually because of problems during an update cycle where the update was not completed because the TV lost power or similar. And so the TV gets stuck in recovery mode and you can't boot it as normal. So the first step is just to make sure that your Roku OS is up to date and running the latest firmware version. So on the first recovery screen that you see, choose your language, then under connect to the internet, choose wireless and connect to your Wi-Fi network or wired if you're going to plug an ethernet cable directly from your TV to your router. And your Roku TV should then automatically download the latest version of the Roku OS and reboot and hopefully start up normally. If you can't connect your TV to Wi-Fi or Ethernet, then you can select the Can't Connect to Network option and update via USB, and you can download the latest Roku version for your TV model number from Roku's update site, which is uh, linked in the video description below. If your Roku OS is updated to the latest version and you're still stuck in recovery mode, then try resetting your TV. So pretty much all Roku TVs should have a physical reset button somewhere on the back or on the side. It'll be a little hole that you can put a, a, a pen in or a paper clip to press the reset button. So there's a few different reset methods you can use to try and skip out of recovery mode. So first of all, just uh, switch off your TV, unplug it, and then hold down the reset button for about 15 or 20 seconds and then plug your TV back in and try it again. If that doesn't work, then you can try it with your TV on. So switch your TV on so that it's in recovery mode, then hold down the reset button, remove the power cord while you're holding down the reset button, and then wait 10 seconds before plugging it back in again, releasing the reset button and switching the TV on again. If that doesn't work, then you can try multiple taps on the reset button, which does work for some people. So switch your TV on so that it's in recovery mode. Then just tap the reset button on the back of your, your Roku TV. And you should see that there's a light on the front that flashes. So then keep repeatedly hitting the reset button until the light stops flashing and it shows a solid white bar. And it might take 30 seconds or so. And when the light turns solid, press and hold the power button, which is beneath your Roku TV's logo, so next to the light and your TV will then power on and it should be out of recovery mode. So it can take a bit of trial and error to get this right, but it does work for a lot of people. If you're still stuck in recovery mode, then it's possible that there's some more serious issue with the software. It does sometimes work in these cases that simply leaving your TV alone and unplugged for a few hours or overnight can jump it out of recovery mode. So unplug your TV, hold the reset button for 30 seconds or so, and then leave it unplugged for several hours or overnight. And then switch your TV on and try it again, maybe the next morning. If your TV does now work after doing that, then to make sure it doesn't happen again, try factory resetting it. And then updating the Roku OS over Wi-Fi or Ethernet to make sure it's got the latest Roku OS version. If you still can't get it out of recovery mode after trying all of the reset methods and updating the firmware, then the problem is likely caused by a bug or a glitch in the software that's stored on the main board. The main board is the, the board within your TV that you plug in your HDMI cables and also runs all the logic for your TV. So it's likely that there's some failure on one of the chips on the main board. You can investigate the individual chips using a multimeter if you feel like opening up your TV. But the simplest option in this case is usually just to replace the entire main board. They're only about $30. If you just look on eBay and put in your TV's model number, you should be able to find a compatible one. And they're not very expensive. And you can then replace the main board yourself. And that will jump your TV out of recovery mode. And there's various tutorials on how to replace the main board on your Roku TV on YouTube. And I've linked a few of them below. There's also more tips 
in the link to article that you can find in this video's description.